house of the Lord. It's good to see everybody. Everybody's looking real good. God is so good. He's been so good to me. He's been good to you. It's okay. Yeah, to the wife, three daughters, six grandkids, and one great grand. I don't know how to be stupid. <laughs> But I love my children. Got two daughters going to church. One needs to get in there, and I believe she's on her way. So I believe in prayer. I believe in that God answers prayer. God hears our prayers, and we do the best that we know how. We walk up right before Him, and I thank Him because of His love and His grace. And you know, a lot of stuff on TV, you know, they talk about grace and love, and they kind of give you the, uh, that it gives you the right to sin, but love and grace does not give you license to sin. Amen. But real, genuine love, the love of God will cause you to live right. Will cause you to want to live right. I tell you what, I believe he's put a want to in my heart. How about you? How many wants to live right? I want to please the Lord. In all of my ways, I want to worship him. I want to serve him. I want to knowledge him. Because God is good, and I don't believe it's going to be long till it's coming back after those that's looking for him. Are you looking for him? Yeah. God is good, and it's good to see everybody. It's good to Sister Kathy you just bless my soul, and it's just when I see you and all the years that you've held on to the Lord, and has and you have no determination to quit or throw your hands up, but you've made heaven your home. You enjoy serving the Lord, and it's good to see everybody and and, and people that's in this building that's sick. Had surgery, different things going on. Uh, sister back there with sugar. I got a problem with sugar. Yep. And I tell people I can't help it because I'm so doggone sweet. <laughs> but I know God can heal. And if He don't heal, it's not His fault. But I tell you what, there's a place that when we really get sincere and and really seek God with all of a heart and our mind. I know He's healed me before. And God's touched me and He's given me the strength to go on. And I tell you what, I love the Lord because He has been so good to me. Do you love Him? He's wanting us to praise Him, to magnify Him, to worship Him in spirit and in truth. God is good. I appreciate Sister Marge over here. I remember years ago when a dude came, I remember seeing her. I believe she was teaching Sunday school at that time. But God is good. And I tell you what, I love serving the Lord. And I tell you what, God is truth. And I love truth. How about you? God is good. And I love His Word. His Word is true. And they're everlasting. He didn't come here to judge us. He didn't come down here to condemn us, but He's come here to tell us the truth. But if you don't accept the truth, this same word that we hear and that we read will be our judge. He won't get a new book with something that we don't know nothing about, but God will take this word and one of these days this word will be our judge. But now, whosoever will, let him come. And I tell you what, free. We don't have to serve the Lord unless you want to. And I want to. I want to serve the Lord. Because I tell you what, I found a good thing. I found a friend when I found Jesus. Yeah. And boy, I tell you what, my daughter got me a new phone. <laughs> With all this touch tone stuff. And she set me up on Facebook. I never know that I had so many friends. I got friends that I don't even know of. And I tell you what, I, I thought about throwing this stone away because I tell you what, you want to dial somebody and you hit it too hard and you dial someone else. 
But I tell you what, I don't know if I'll ever learn this new technology because I'm about 20 years behind when it comes to technology. But I thank God that, uh, uh, and I'm not no good at texting, and especially I have to get my dictionary out when it comes to spelling and all this. But I thank God that I don't have to, to text him uh, for him to answer me because I tell you what, if I had to text the Lord, uh, me and him wouldn't be talking very much. That's right. But I tell you what, ain't you glad that you can call upon Him and, and worship Him with all of your heart and all of your mind and all of your soul? God's been so good to me. I love Him. I love the Lord. He's met my needs. He's touched my body. He's given me strength. He's given me joy. I love serving the Lord. How about you? God's good. I tell you what, I want to serve Him. I want to lift up my voice. Everything that has breath, we need to praise the Lord. So how about it this morning? Let's praise Him. Let's love on Him. Let's magnify Him for He is worthy to be praised. Oh, God's good, 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 good. He's been good to me. I've been out of a job three or four years. I'm doing better than I ever have. I mean, God, He, when I've learned that we've got to trust in the Lord. When we trust in people, we get in trouble, don't we? Have you ever trusted in people and expect them to maybe come through maybe with some finances or some money and they let you down? You know, but I tell you what, I've learned to put my trust in the Lord. Right. Uh, Doing pretty good. God's been good to me. Is Hacking's Bibles, Psalms 37 and 4, says, Trust in the Lord and do good. So shalt thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. Verse 4 says, Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thy heart. Commit thy ways unto the Lord, trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. But I tell you what he says, Delight thyself in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thy heart. Have you got any desires this morning? You know, I tell you what, God has met so many of my desires and a lot of my wants. The Bible says, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. I don't think that we have to want for any good thing, but we've got to learn to delight ourselves in the Lord. Some mistakes said in the morning you're going to hear my voice. I tell you what, this is what the problem is the cares of this life and the deceitful of richness and the pleasures of life is robbing so many people and they don't have time to delight their self in the Lord. But I tell you what, if we can learn to put Him first in our life. Uh, and He'll take care of all of your needs and a lot of your wants. But God is good. And I tell you what, He's blessing me because He's been so good to me. Don't you love Him? Yes. I love Him. And it'll cause you to love your brothers and sisters in Christ. It'll cause you to love your enemies if you got any. But delight thyself in the Lord, and He'll give you the desires of thy heart. Since I've been without a job, I, I didn't even really speak this out, I don't believe loud, but in my heart, I got a tractor and I had a real small place for a garden. I said, Lord, I wish I had a bigger place I could do the garden. And you know, God blessed me with an acre and a half. Over there in Chatsworth, Georgia, didn't have a job. I was able to buy and I was able to pay it off and get a job. And I tell you what, there's so many things God has done for me. And I tell you what, He gives me of so many things that I want. 
but I've got to learn to put him first in my life uh, and to seek him and to no. love on him. No. And I think what we need to have a relationship with him, a close relationship. So we need to dwell in the secret place of the Most High God because He's a good God and He's a loving God. And I'm not ashamed of Jesus. I'm not ashamed because of what He's done for me. But God is good. It says, Delight thyself in the Lord and you shall give thee desires of thy heart. I looked up the word delight and it says, Intimate. We need to have that intimate. Uh, uh, we need to have a close relationship. Uh, we need to seek Him and, and know His ways uh, because He, His ways are good for you, <coughs> good for me. Praise the Lord. In Psalms 84 and 10, for a day in Thy courts is better than a thousand. I had rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than to dwell in the tents of the wickedness. For the Lord God is a sun, a shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will He withhold from them that walk upright. Did you hear what the Word of God said? It says, no good thing will He withhold from them that walk upright. I know a lot of people, I know people that go to church, I know Sunday, and they're always in wants, and they're always in need, but then you see things that they're doing, I know Sunday, uh, you know, they'll get up and sing about the blood, and, and then they'll sell pain pills, and they'll do this and do that, and they're always in want. But I tell you what, but the Bible tells me that if we walk upright, He will not withhold no good thing. God's given me a lot of good things, and it don't belong to me, but He's blessed me. And I'm willing to give it all up when He comes back to me. But I tell you what, God is good. Has He been good to you? Do you love Him? Do you enjoy serving the Lord? I tell you what, I want to commit all of my ways into Him because He will direct my path. He will show me the right way. A lot of times there are so many ways out there you hear, but I tell you what, God is the way. He's the truth and the life. I love His Word. I love getting up in the morning and meditating on the Lord and delight myself in Him. Because I tell you what, He will bring you life. He'll bring you joy. He'll bring you peace. There's a lot of people that's lost all joy. They've lost all desire. They, uh, they, they, they need strength. And, but I tell you what, God will give you all these things if we trust in Him. Because I need Him. There's times that I get weak in body and, and there's no sugar ain't a good thing and it make you feel weak and fatigued and drained and, and I tell you what, just life itself will drain you but I tell you what, there's nothing out there no more important than living for Jesus and doing what's right. Being honest. Not going around lying. You don't know anybody that lies, do you? But God, uh, you know, and they, they'll twist the truth and they'll change it around, you know. And I know people that sell things and they won't tell them uh, the truth about the matter. You know, they'll tell you that's the best thing. Uh, maybe one on their car or what. And knowing uh, uh, that you ain't going to make it home. I bought a car and it smelled a little hot. I scared back. He says, oh, it's not hot. And I never made it home. I had to leave it on the side of the road. But no, they didn't know nothing about it, you know. But I tell you what, I'd rather be honest and up front uh, because when you're honest about something other, uh, then you'll reap good things. Uh, uh, when you don't lie or steal or cheat, uh, when Jesus says, if you love me, keep my commandments. And if we do this out of love, then you'll begin to reap. I used to, I used not to be good at good at you all the time. I've done wrong. And I paid for it. The Bible says you reap what you sow. But I like to reap good things, don't you? Yeah. And to be able to reap good things, you got to do good. 
and do good unto others. And a lot of times we've got to forget about ourselves and think about others. There's a lot of greedy people and stingy people and they just think about their self and what they can get in life. But I found that you'll get a whole lot more if you think about others and do good to your neighbor. Do you love your neighbor? A lot of times, sometimes we don't even know our neighbors, you know, especially if there's a lot of them around us. But I'll tell you what, do good to your neighbor. One time I had a neighbor to shoot our dog. And I tell you what, uh, sometimes it's, well, I mean, I gotta love this man, and he done this to my dog, and then years later, he's got the nerve and the gall. He didn't want the, he wanted to run up some power to his place, and he didn't want all those pretty trees cut down his. But he asked my wife, uh, would I give him the right of way to come off of this pole? You know, all I had to do is cut one tree down the wind. She called and told me that boy the first time just prior to that. I said, is he mad? I he shot my dog. And then he's got the nerve to ask me. But you know, on the way down there, God melted my heart. People kill one another over a piece of property. And I got thinking it's not worth it. The Bible tells me to love my neighbor as myself. Amen. Well, he come out there and want me to sign this piece of paper and give the power company the right away. And I went ahead and signed it. <laughs> this property don't belong to me anyhow. But I tell you what, I want to be peaceable with all men and the apostles. Sometimes it's impossible. Yeah, that's your end. Well, sometimes people are trying. They'll test you. Lord, help me, Lord. Because we're supposed to love these people. Sometimes we can't even love one another in church. But you know, this is what I like about here, you know. People come in and just everybody starts going to get in. Nobody shaking and hugging and fighting. Glad to see. But I tell you why. That's the word. That's right. We need to take time out from one another because everybody is precious. And I tell you what, God's got nothing but good things for you. And that's why I love the Lord because He has been so good to me. Yeah. And I'm excited about what the Lord is doing. I just love every one of you. I love His singing. I love His testimony. Brother Max done a beautiful job this morning. They are weighted in the balance. And our parent wanting uh -huh. scales. I'm upset about baby scales. I'm telling them, girl. Not to weigh babies. Uh oh. To weigh some tomatoes or something. Like that. Uh -huh. In the baby business. Uh -huh. So I, I don't know if it works just right. I had to give it away. But uh, the Lord's got set his scales and, and he says that he weighs the wind by me. But he says he also he, he, he weighs our spirit. I, I don't have no scales that weigh spirits. I mean, you know. But he he weighs all the water in the hollow of his hand. He even weighs the mountains in a balance. And he knows how much every mountain weighs. And that's how come he put the king in those balance. He said they are weighted in the balance and are not wanted. And the Lord puts us in there too, you know. And he knows, you know what, can, oh, uh, when he weighs our spirit, he knows if we're carrying extra load. Because he's got a good set of skills. Yes, he has. Now, there's a lot of false skills and unbalanced, you know, especially if you're maybe selling scrap metal. You know, it's amazing what people do. They uh, keep <laughs> having to pay the full amount on that weight. But, uh, but it's, it says an unjust skill is abomination to the Lord. But he's got just skills. Yes. And he weighs the spirit. And the, that's why he says to lay the weights and the sins that which does so easily be yes. Because, see, he knows if we're carrying extra luggage. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
And who can run if you got a bunch of weights hanging on you? Oh, I do good now to, to walk fast. <laughs> You know, I'm not the man that I used to be. And I don't like to confess bad things. I like to be as positive as I can. But I tell you what, the Bible says that the outer man perisheth, but the inner man is renewed day by day. And when I feel God, I feel good. I feel uh, uh, like a teenager all over again. When I feel the power of a, and His anointing, oh, I just... Oh, I ain't never jumped in fancy before, but oh, I've got a better than it had me. But God's good, and I love feeling the Lord because when you feel Him, I feel like I'm young all over again. But when I look in the mirror, I see a different story. But I thank God that I'm going to have a new body. I'm and no more pain. No more sickness. No more sorrow. I ain't going to have to stick myself with that sugar needle. You know, to see how high my sugar is. And, and sometimes, boy, it's hard to stay away from those sweets. I mean, to go to somebody's house and I already have got a big old cake made of banana pudding. So, Lord bless this new because I'm going to get me some of that. <laughs> but God's good. And I love Him. And I'm going to serve Him all the days of my life. And I'm going to dwell in the house of the Lord forever. I'm excited about the Lord. I'm excited about my salvation. How about you? Yeah. Woo! Somebody makes me want to move. <laughs> Oh, I'm young now. My legs are in said it was fractured. Sometimes it gets a stowed up, can't move. But boy, when I start feeling God, I get feeling loose. I get feeling good in the Lord. Oh, I love Him. I enjoy serving Him because He's got nothing but good things in store for you and I. He'll not withhold no good things to those that walk up right. When a lot of wrong comes my way, I guess thank you, my Lord. What's wrong? Sometimes God says to examine ourselves, you know, see if we can be in the faith. But, but you know, Lord, what's going on, Lord? But I tell you what, we're going to go through trials. We're going to be tested and we're going to be tried. But it's going to be worth it all. When you go through the fire, all that the fire will do is burn off those cords that hold you and bind you. It will, all it does is burn off things that don't belong. When you go through that Holy Ghost and fire. <laughs> Woo! I love the Holy Ghost, don't you? I wasn't raised, uh, I was raised more bad this week. Uh, we wasn't in really great badness to go to church, but the uh, first holiness church I ever went to, and the Holy Ghost was moving, and I thought they were crazy. <laughs> I thought they had lost it. I worked at the Howard Johnson's, and I was making fun of that service. These women boys one about hit me and scared me. I said, Lord of mercy, what's wrong with them? They're absolutely crazy. I was making fun of them. And I tell you what, my boss was a woman. Her name was uh, Churchill. She wasn't living right. But I guarantee you, she called me down. She stuck that big long finger in my face. She says, I'm not living right. But you better shut your mouth because you don't know what you're talking about. You don't be right. And you know what I did? I shut up. And I never said nothing else. Because I tell you what, uh, I knew if I did, uh, I might get slapped and I'd probably lose my job. <laughs> but you know, I got thinking, are they something to this? Got me wondering. And then of all things, I'm married. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord, oh, Lord. And here they was getting 
pictures of the Holy Ghost. And I got, I, I went to my mother's and made sure that their Bible said the same thing. They had the same Bible. It's amazing how people can get what they want to and leave what they don't want. I want to take it out, don't you? Yeah. And I, I'd go over there and read my mama and them some scriptures about the Holy Ghost. And they'd always go back to this one scripture. Well, I could speak five words with my understanding and 10,000 words in unknown tongues. But I said, well, Paul says, I thank God I speak in tongues more than you all. But boy, I tell you what, I got hungry for it. I don't want it. And I... I took French in school, bonjour. I made straight L's. I couldn't pop through my nose. You know. But I tell you what, I remember the night the Lord filled me with the Holy Ghost. I heard someone else speaking in another language, couldn't find out that it was God opening and speaking. In. And I tell you what, it was hell. Oh, it was good. And it just kept better and better and better. God is good and He's got nothing but good things in store for His people. Turn the monkey. He used to sing a song about the table and a, a bowl of love or sanctification, joy and peace. And Oh, Lord, He's got so many good things spread on the table. Does anybody want it? Somebody. Oh, yes, God's good. And I love Him and I'm not ashamed of the Holy Ghost. And I'm not ashamed to say Holy Ghost. No, oh, a lot of people want to say Holy Spirit. Yeah. And, and no doubt it is the Holy Spirit, but I tell you what I like to say, Holy Ghost when the Bible says Holy Ghost. But it says here, for the Lord God is a son, a shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from them that walk upright. O Lord of hosts, blessed is the man that trusts in thee. And I looked up the word blessed means happiness. Are you happy this morning? Yeah. 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 Praise the Lord. I want to be happy, happy, happy. happy. Yeah. And I am excited about God's goodness. Psalms 34 and 8 says, O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trust us in Him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're going to have to trust in the Lord. Yeah. How many believe that the Lord is able to take care of you? Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. I know. And I'll tell you what, you better trust in the Lord because uh, insurance down and, and a lot of them can't afford it. I've been without insurance for nearly three, four years. And I'll tell you what, I did go to the uh, doctor one time for a checkup and uh, uh, it was about four or five hundred dollars just for a little blood work and everything. And I said, my, my, my. And I'll tell you what, uh, we're going to have to put our trust in the Lord. He's well able to take care of you and I, but we've got to believe it. That He will take care of His children. I know He's well able to take care of a lot of people I know that says they trust in the Lord when they have any kind of problems, any kind of trouble. I know this one sister, and I love her to death, but when she goes through a trial, a problem, she cusses like a soul. She can't deal with it. She can't cope with it. And then they say, you know, she's going to church and, and, and praising the Lord, and then a least little problem comes. She loses it. But she's always in trouble, always in want, and always in that begging. I tell you what, you've got a purpose in your heart that you're going to serve the Lord and walk upright. We can't even live right without Him. Our righteousness is stripped of rags. That's how can we put on His righteousness. Well, we've got a robe and a perfect fit. Praise the Lord. I like to put on His righteousness, and I believe it. We can all do that. Walk up right and do the best we know how and watch God work. Okay. In Psalm 34, I read verse 8, O taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusts in Him. O fear the Lord, 
all ye saints, for there is no want to them that fear him. Uh, the young lion do lack and suffer hunger, but they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. Now, I believe, I believe God's word, and I'm going to stand upon it. And Psalms 119 and 103 says, How sweet are thy words unto my taste, yea, sweeter than honey to my mouth. Yeah. <laughs> Proverbs says a little honey, a little honey, too much honey to make it throw up. Yeah. And I've had it all kinds of sinuses and allergy problems. And everybody says, get you a little honey, a little honey. Mm -hmm. So I went and bought me some honey. Yeah. And I'll get my spoon in the honey. Oh, Lord. It's just pretty good. <laughs> but if I ate too much of it, it's going to make me sick. But you know what? I ain't had much allergy and sinus problems. I always constantly got an old sinus drainage. Yeah. But I'll tell you what, when God says a little honey is good for you, it's good for you. Yeah. <laughs> Some people like that word so good that uh, I don't know if my daughter calls her husband honey or not. Oh, Lord, <laughs> a lot of people uses that word honey, honey. Honey, will you bring me a cup of coffee? <laughs> honey, will you be a cup of snakes? <laughs> But the word of God is sweeter than honey. Right. And it's good. Get up the first thing in the morning and start reading the word. Yeah. So I've had my honey for the day. Yeah. And then when you share this good, sweet stuff, it's good. Yeah. Woo! Makes you feel good. <laughs> Woo! Oh. So, he's been around daddy. Honey, 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 honey. Okay. Psalm 16 and 11. And this scripture here has really touched me lately. It says, Thou will show me the path of life. In thy presence is the fullness of joy. At thy right hand there are pleasures forevermore. But if you've lost your joy, and a lot of people don't have any joy. They're miserable. Yeah. You can look on their face. <laughs> you ever been in a red light and uh, turn green and you don't move just fast? They'll honk your horn and, and give you that look and Sometimes they'll even give you some sign language. <laughs> 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 Not too long ago, someone done me that way, and I just. We <laughs> just look at me. Sweet in my mouth 
about the Lord. I might be a little bitter down here in my stomach, uh, but, uh, but I'll tell you what, it's good for you. Yeah. It'll move everything that ought not to be. Uh, God's good. Yeah. I will delight myself in thy statutes, I will not forget thy word. Psalms 81 and 18 and 1, I will love thee, O Lord, my strength. Psalmist David, love the Lord. Isaiah 26 and 3, Thou will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusts us in thee. I've heard this before. Well, this person lost her mind because all they want to do is talk about the Lord. Well, I don't believe that. I don't believe that. <laughs> I uh, was looking maybe for another way out from something or other. But something wasn't right about that picture. No, no. But I tell you what, you can't talk about the Lord or meditate upon Him. So it will keep you in perfect peace. That's right. I mean, like peace. That's how it comes to me. People's taking drugs, I believe, doing this, trying to find a little happiness. And I know there's a little pleasure in sin, but it don't last long. It don't last long. Isaiah 12, 2 and 3, Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid, for the Lord Jehovah is my strength and my song. He also has become my salvation. Therefore, with joy shall ye draw water out of the wells of salvation. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Yes. Well, I love the Lord. I, I, I'm excited because I get talk about Jesus. And I've got something here sweeter than honey. There you go. That is good. Oh, boy, that sounds good to me. <laughs> but the, this here is good medicine. Yeah. Without any side effects. Yeah. The medicine you take now in the drugstore, you read the side effects and you don't know what to take it. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of people won't take one. They start reading not reading side effects. Exactly. But now this has some side effects <laughs> to it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's good. 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 Yeah. So, I love you. Just want prayer. And I tell you what, God is still able to heal. He is my healer. He's my redeemer. He's wanting us to prosper and be in good health, even as our souls prosper. A lot of times people don't prosper because their soul does not prosper. But you get that soul in tune with the Word of God and uh, get it prospering. I tell you what, then everything else will fall in place. I don't think I'll ever have to go back. I'm enjoying my vacation. <laughs> yeah. Get up, make me some honey, and so, Lord, what am I going to do today? I don't think I want to do nothing but sit in front of that. Oh, make it honey. And read the Word of God. For God is good. You will not go wrong by walking upright and doing what's right. It says, ye that love the Lord hate evil. Yeah. Oh, we got the right to hate sometimes. We got the right to hate a proud look. That's right. The six things the Lord hates, and one of them is a proud look, a lying tongue, think that's swift to run to mischief. And then the last one, which is abomination unto him, is discord among the brethren. And most times you find that in church, don't you? Brothers against brothers and sisters against sisters of jealousy. But Lord, we need to learn to love our brothers and sisters. Yeah. Respect our enemies. Put our trust in the Lord. And love them. All I do is, is anybody want prayer? I'm feeling good. I hope I don't want to feel good. No, you're not. I'm feeling bad. Yeah. 
morning. Let's pray for this sister. I want her healed. Me too. Oh, the faith that she had just to, to be in the house of God. There's people that's healthy, strong, and there's someone else. But she, her